The new extrude tool with the next allows you to quickly extrude polygons just by simply hovering your cursor over the highlighted component and just left click dragging. So here you can just see I'm extruding uh, faces. Uh, if I switch to, for example, multi-component mode, I can just as easily extrude out uh, vertices. So here you can just extrude vertices and uh, just switch back to faces by left click dragging on those. And if I wanted to, I could select a, an edge and just left click on that and drag out an edge extrusion as well. So that's if you don't have a selection. So if you have a selection, uh, so I'm just going to switch to my move tool and make a couple polygon selections just like that and enter the extrude tool. So first I'll just switch to smooth poly so you can see that when I apply the extrusion, it automatically creates the extrusion. And at any point I can just left click drag anywhere within the viewport and uh, precisely adjust the extrusion amount. So you can see that you have the feed up, feedback up here uh, on the viewport and you can also just type in the exact amount here. So in the bottom right you have the options for, or the, the main options that you would use for adjusting an extrusion. So again, left click dragging the viewport allows you to interactively adjust it and then uh, oh, typing them in here you can actually type in the specified value. Also at any point you can hold down control shift and right click to get uh, some of these same options here so you can interactively adjust the options within the viewport uh, all right under your cursor. So if I wanted to adjust the local Z, I can just switch back to that. Then I can adjust my divisions and I'm going to switch back to uh, normal mode here so you can see the divisions and then I can switch to offset and adjust the offset of that extrusion as well. So then I can go back to divisions, adjust that and dial in however many I want from there. Uh, and you can also set keep faces together on and off right here. So you can see these faces that were connected are now uh, disconnected and you can also set reset so it'll reset the settings so you can go back to just a, a regular uh, local Z attribute and just change that and let me reset that back oh, I'm actually just switching key faces off so let me switch that back and go to local Z and you can see I'm just pulling that from there um, finally if you hold down shift and left click or middle click drag you'll just create a new extrusion from that same selection so you can just uh, keep making extrusions there. One other thing we've done with extrusion is if you have, for example, uh, some edges selected. So here I can just select this edge and you can hold down shift and just by pulling on the manipulator you can actually just create an extrusion from that. So you can do it on any one of these axis uh, handles or you can pull on one of these planar handles here and uh, create an extrusion just like that as well. So here I can just create these really long extrusions and this is really useful for uh, polygon by polygon modeling. So I can just now select that edge and select that edge and maybe apply a bevel and smooth that out just like that. And just by switching to smooth preview you can see that. And maybe another example of that if I was to create uh, for example a cylinder. And I'm just going to quickly make some edits to this just by using the connect tool with the next. And then switch to face mode, select those polygons. Uh, go back to edge and now switch to scale and you can see that if I hold down sh shift with scale you can extrude uh, that as well and then holding down shift I will allow you to scale from that and then again shift uh, shift and you can just quickly make some uh, you know very dynamic kind of uh, modeling within this kind of workflow just by holding shift and even if you were to combine that with, for example, the custom pivot tool. So, for example, if I was to enter the custom pivot tool and just snap to that edge just by left clicking on that. And then maybe going into the rotate tool, I can uh, rotate uh, that extrusion around that edge uh, just like that. So it's uh, really powerful with the tools that you already have with the next for transforming. Uh, just by holding down shift on any selected edge you'll get an extrusion from that as well so uh, it can be really powerful for that kind of workflow.